Hello everyone, it's Jason here, and welcome back to Farming the Blockheads Way. It's a lovely Sunday. Happy Sunday, everyone. Um, what are we doing today? Today we're going to be mining down. Actually, seeing as though I'm planning this to be the last episode, you guys. Um, at least for this series of Farming the Blockheads Way. I'm thinking I haven't really achieved much, and, you know... I'm I'm beginning to think uh the series isn't getting many views. Um thus I feel like I should end the series here, but we'll go out in style and we'll do what I've always wanted to do. I think you'll know what I'm gonna say. We are going to raid why is my screen so greasy? Just one second. There you go. So we're going to go to that, we're going to go to that goddamn desert, and we're just going to run as far as we can. Um, before the video ends, we're just going to see what we're just going to see what is on the other side of this dark, uh, dark space. As well, know. Maybe I'll cut the video here. Wait till Jason slept. And um, then we'll go in all guns blazing. So yeah. Hey, hey guys, I'm back. Jason. Um, sorry, we was redoing the intro. Uh, we're making our way towards um the uh the desert. Actually, we're, from, we're miles off. I'm gonna cut it here again. Just look, we're miles away. Alright, we're back, and we're just swimming across the ocean uh, in an attempt to get across. I remember there were sharks here. Oh, those, those, those were cause us so much rage, I remember. Ah, good times, good times. Mm, good times. I'm going to miss doing this series slightly. I'm going to miss getting annoyed at Jason for being slow and having little to no control, despite this feeling like a god game mixed with the sandbox game yeah, or being a bit complex myself not knowing what to do having no sense of enemies or dangers having a crap multiplayer yeah I'm actually not gonna miss this at all no. uh, but if you want me to continue series you can leave a comment uh, or a like on this video I guess uh, I, I really am essentially Oh, I didn't mean to click there. So one that one god style game that I have been playing, and if you don't know what a god game is, by definition, a god game is a game that places you as an observer with the ability to look after uh, the AIs. You can tell them what to do and have, in effect, some control over what they do, but often not all the control over what they do. Um. Now, one one good game that I've been getting into is The Sims, and I'll tell you why. It's because it's like a real life simulation. That's the main complaint I get about it. It's the most boring idea in the world. It, in, it, on paper, it's boring. I'll admit, I did. I don't play video games to simulate real life, but I do like looking after my Sims. And the way that The Sims is sort of presented is it's kind of this world. And it's got like quite a lot of opportunity. I think you'll find. Uh, it's got way more opportunity than you'd ever get in real life, let's say. Um, I mean, I, I'm, 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 I'm decently smart. I'm not like really clever. I'm not, I'm not insanely talented uh, in all my subjects. So there's, I'll, I'll never be anything like a scientist or, I don't know, like um, an inventor. However, my mate, my my, my sim that I made of myself. Is actually um, in a science career. I'm just like that. This is amazing. I can do whatever I want within reason. In in the Sims world, I could go into a life of crime. I could join the police force. That's actually what I got another one of my Sims to do because I started a world up with Jacob when I was first testing out the game. He knew a bit about the Sims, so he said, "Right, let's create a house. We'll have me and you in the house." And we'll be brothers, right? So that's another good thing. I can I can be brothers with whoever I want. 
I could I could add Alex into the game. We could be brother. We could all be like we could go about triplets. So that that would be flipping amazing. Just imagine that. I, I don't know if it's it's just awesome. Um, and I can also screw with people. Like there's one, there's one sim who's like re le who lives next door, and he's done really well for himself. He's got like le like this exercise queen, which is like this giant exercise machine that's well expensive. He's got like fancy furniture. He's got it all. He's got it all. But <laughs> uh, my I made Jacob's sim be like a douche to him. Uh, but he just comes around to his house whenever he wants, and he'll sit on the sofa, he'll use his bath, uh, and his exercise machine, he'll okay, I'll occasionally make him make rude comments about him, and I, I, I'm, I flipping love it. <laughs> that was really, really, seemingly nice chap, and I, 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 I thought, I've made so many friends in The Sims, why not have a few enemies? <laughs> You know, it's even out the balance here. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just evening out the balance. That's that's all I'm doing. Excuse me. I wonder how far this ocean goes on for. All right, come on. Forward. Yeah, one thing I haven't learned to do, uh, and I, I know I. Talk about Terraria quite a bit on my YouTube channel now, even when I'm not doing Terraria. Uh, one thing I've not learned how to do in Terraria is make a bed. If I could make a bed, then it would make fighting that Skeletron boss much easier. I could just respawn and run in and kick his ass. But he's at the other side of the map to me, so obviously that isn't happening anytime soon. I wonder whether the session will go on forever. Okay, well, one genuine thing I'll miss about the series is have a nice chit chat with you all. I was kind of like planning for Parkour Thursdays, but uh, we don't. We, you know, we don't really chat. We just yell about Parkour, make that's what she said jokes, stuff like that. But it's all quite funny. Uh, we all have a laugh. Let's not deny that. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I like the. I, I still can't get out uh, how the cloud graphic, how amazing the cloud graphics are. I, I, I really like looking at the clouds. They're nice. Um, I'm not all those hippies in real life who are like, oh, the clouds are so amazing, and they all look like a flipping, flipping thing. Oh, it's like a pink sign. Oh, actually, really funny thing. Really funny thing I watched was uh, Yogg's Cashian, right? He was playing against Hat Films. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of Hat Films, you know, as far as Yogg's Cash goes. I like them, but they essentially do what Sips does, but with no class. They just yell and curse at the uh, at the game. There's little to no skill involved, um, if I'm honest. But anyways, they were, they were with Kim and, I believe, Rivian. Um, and they were against Shin, I watched Shin's playthrough of this, Shin, two people who made this PvP map, and Zoe. Now, Zoe hasn't done any videos for a while, so I was like, well, oh, it's about a fucking time she did a video. And so Shin was like, we should run in and kill them all. And Zoe was like, no, 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 let's, let's run in peace force, drop our swords. And she, she, what the thing is, Shin and the other two, they just ran in, got their ass kicked because they tried to kill everyone. Zoe ran in and just no one wa no one wanted to mess with her. They were like, oh 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 shit, she's not even fighting back. She's no threat. And that is that is genius. That's gotta be that is the, the the most genius thing I've ever seen. If if it, I've got to try that. I will I will try that one day. Also, one thing Zoe did was she, she actually kited, kited them a lot. So Shin and the other two, they were like doing, doing all the fighting, and Zoe was just uh, running around like a headless chicken. But she was running around like a headless chicken with, to some effect. I actually, I actually pretty much made them win. Yeah, spoiler alert, they won. Sorry about the spoilers, guys. 
all the spoilers all the time. I need coffee beans. Why do I not take any coffee beans? I think this ocean just goes on forever, you know, so let's just, let's just go underwater. Yeah, let's just die underwater. Yeah. So anyways, uh, final, final conversational point for the Farm of the Lock Hesway series, or if, if I decide to do any other series, it'll be, f uh, of the first season, final point of the season, um, so final point of the season, Yogs, if, you, if you're in PvP against Hat Films, don't attack them. Throw your sword down, run to their base, and just wait there. That's what you do. That's all you have to do. It's, it's that simple. It's, it's really, really simple. But so, so, so insanely clever. Can we go any lower than this? How low can we go? Sing it now, how low can we go? Yeah, yeah, how low can we go? Come on, how low can you go? Can we go any lower? Come on, I won't go lower. Yeah, that's right. How low can you go? Come on, how low can you go, Jason? You need to go lower. You must go lower! Yeah, Jason's dying from lack of oxygen. See, how far underwater are we? Right. Get as low underwater as we possibly can. Right. Yep, yep, Lucy's right. She's, she's in the next room. This just calls you. That's right, my mum's phone, did, did, phone just, did just call. Right, how far did underwater do we get? Oh, quite far. Hmm, I'm happy with that. Right now, our guy's gonna die. Oh well. There we go. So now, Jason, you're dead. Well, you should be dead. He's just probably injured. After I'm, I'm off. Anyways, that was fun. Well, Look, it's wasted. Um. Probably the final episode, unless you guys really want to see more fun with like Blockheads. Wait, if you want to, you have to leave a comment. It's this thing where you click on the comment box below, you type in what you thought about the video. Alright, it's that simple. So just do that. Anyways, I'll be, I've been Jason, and I'll see you all later. Bye.